Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we are trying another exciting chip or crisp flavor. Have you seen these yet? Ribeye steak. Ribeye steak flavor. Oh, yeah. you'll love that. Yeah. Ribeye steak is probably my favorite cut of steak. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mine too. What does it say down here? Cowboy cut. Cowboy cut. What? Okay. <laughs> we always get into this, right? Okay. What makes it, t you know, beef flavor? I get it. Ribeye steak. What makes it taste like a ribeye steak? And now, what makes it taste like cowboy cut? Well, and does that refer to the cut of the meat or the cut of the chip? I uh, No, the cut of the chip is crinkle cut. All right. So that re I think that refers to the cut of steak. All right, and I guess. What? Come on. I guess we're gonna have to find out. We found ours at our local Aldi, and don't sleep on Aldi if you are. Wake up and go visit one. They are always doing their thing, as oh, we sure. like to say. Yeah. They always, always, always have new things. Not only in the seasonal aisle, but in the regular aisles. We picked up several new things uh, when we were just there recently. So uh, one of the two things that we always look for when we're Aldi as far as trying new things, we look everywhere as far as like feeding ourselves and we picked up some manicotti that they yeah. had. Their ravioli is phenomenal. It's really good. They always have really good uh, hummus. Oh, I know what we got. We got the oh, no. pickle. Um, pickle de gallo, which is like pico, but made with pickles. I can't wait to try that. John, I... John's not in a hurry mm, for that one. No, no. But no. Uh, two of the things that they're always rotating and changing are their chips and their cookies. Benton cookies. Yeah, yeah cookies. you can always find new flavors. So uh, we did pick up that we saw two that we hadn't tried. We um, there was birthday cake and s'mores when yeah. we were there this last time. So yeah. anyway, just a couple of things that we've seen at our local Aldi. Let us know maybe what you've picked up or what some of your Aldi favorites are because mm -hmm. we love Aldi. All right. So yeah, like we said, we understand how this is beef flavored. How it's steak flavored is probably steak seasoning. But how is it ribeye steak versus just steak? Mm. Right. Let's see. It smells just like a potato chip. It does? Yes. Yeah, it kind of... There's a smokiness, I would say. Yeah. Um, kind of like a seasoned salt kind of scent. Ready? That's what they look like. Quite possibly. Yeah, crinkle cut. They don't look like they have a bunch of seasoning on them. But... No. Ready? Yeah, oh yeah. Let's try it. Hmm. Crinkle cut and kettle. Yeah, a little bit thicker cut for sure. And crispy. Yeah, kettle. Oh. The first one I had didn't have a whole lot of flavor on it. Then I had another one and it had more flavor on it. I definitely get the steak flavor. Beef flavor. Beef flavor, yeah. But would I say for sure steak versus mm, like some other kind of meat? I don't know. You can tell it's meat. You can tell. I think you can tell it's steak, but ribeye steak. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know why they call it that. Maybe it's just for the name, you know? Yeah. It sounds more exciting than steak chips. That is good though. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That is really good. Whatever the case may be, that is really good. I'm going to mm -hmm. look up and see if I can see anything about the, what the cowboy cut means. If I'm able to find anything when we go to upload this, I'll put it down in the comments below. Clancy is always doing their thing with the chips. Very seldom, very seldom do we try Clancy's that we just don't like. If it has been, it's usually a flavor we don't like. Like if Clancy's does pickle chips, 
John's not going to like them, whether it's no. Clancy's or Nobody Lay's like or that. Pringles or whatever. Um, Clancy's ordinarily really comes Ooh. through. The crispiness is really nice and the flavor is really nice. I say pick those up, especially if you are uh, a fan of beef flavor. Here's the thing, too. Um, I'm trying to see. This is not, I assume, vegetarian friendly. Like some meat chips that we've had before. Well, right? I don't know. It would be a lot easier. You know. If they'd have the big emblem like they yeah. do in the UK. Yeah. Absolutely. We, can, we know it's gluten free though. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't say anything. So I don't know Here. if you're vegetarian, if you're able to eat those or not. That's nice. If they have the technology to be able to do that, they, I think, should. They should. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, um, yeah, it just says uh, seasonings on it, so you don't know what kind of seasonings. Yeah, yeah. But tasty, um, tasty, tasty. I think they were $2. Mm-hmm. They're, I mean, super Something affordable. Like that. Yeah, super affordable. I would say on a scale of one to five, five meaning run, we have to hurry up and get them before they're gone, one being we're going to throw them right in the trash when we're done with this, I give them maybe a four... I don't yeah. know. If, it's right around there. It's it's not something I don't think that I would crave and say, oh my gosh, we have to get those. If you picked them up and you wanted them, I certainly would help you eat them. Um, but it's not something that I'm going to say, oh, like prawn cocktail has been or yeah. some of the other chips that were like, man, I wish we could get our hands on that. That's what I consider to be a five. The right. ones that we think about like... The Whoa. first time we had those char-grilled chicken oh, chips from when we went to Canada, the first time we ever had those, we still, I mean, it's been three years, I think, now since we've been to Canada, we talk about those all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We sure do. It's not like that, but it's a good chip. Yeah, absolutely. Be good with that dip. I think so, too. I think so, too. So let us know if you have seen these in your local Aldi or tried them, and if you did, what you thought of them. Uh, if you're new, we should say hello and welcome to our channel. This is what we do. We try food. Sometimes we do other stuff. We like to garden. We like to paint. We like to play games. And travel some. Travel, yeah. Now that we can. Yeah. If you're into any of that, uh, please go ahead and subscribe while you're here. Make sure you hit the little bell. Dang. So that you can be notified when our new videos go up. It's every single day. We just never know how many. We never know what time. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the times we are trying new products, but we are going to be adding much more cooking to our channel. Cooking, grilling, product reviews, other products besides food. Um, so if you're into any of that, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. Also make sure you're following us on social media. Our links are in our channel banner, yep. the place where our pictures are. Um, everything's linked there except for TikTok, which we have too. Come find us on TikTok as well. And now, if you love ribeye steak, Ugh. which, my gosh, uh, yeah. here's the thing, too. If you were a vegetarian, which I used to be, and I could easily, you know, I've, I've said before, there's certain animals I won't eat. I'm a little picky. I, I'm not so much animal, you know, eating things on the bone. It's tough for me, right? Right. But if you were a vegetarian, I wonder if eating this, like keeps you satisfied and keeps you on track and or does eating something like this make you want to eat meat well, yeah i wonder i wonder if you know let us know uh anyway sidebar <laughs> <laughs> anyway if you're into that or aldi or chips or crisps or clancy's or us That's, or the, the video. video give this video a big thumbs up it really <laughs> does help our channel when you do that that's all we have for today. See you later. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.